How's it going guys, Hyper here. So today I decided to make a quick how-to video about one of my favorite add-ons, Exorcist Raid Tools. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go over each tab, how you can use these different features, what it's useful for, and what I recommend using them for. Um, also I'm gonna go over how to set them up just real quick. Some of them are super simple, there's some more in-depth stuff. If you're interested, I will have some tags in the description below. I will be talking about each tab separately. If you're interested in a specific feature, how to set it up, you will find the timestamps. All right, so, so the very first one is raid cooldowns. Now as a raid leader, this is crucial for me. I can keep track of every single output cooldown in the raid. If I want, I can keep track of externals, kicks, um, and a few utility cooldowns. However, I only track healing cooldowns and a few externals as well as bubble and aspect of the turtle which is for scenarios but as a healer I think you should set this up so you can keep track of other healers cooldowns that way you don't overlap them whenever a, a raid leader asks for a cooldown you see that someone else popped it you don't need to um, in lower le level raiding especially like intro mythic and even guilds that clear hold mythic if you don't have a specific rotation set up there's a few times when healers overlap cooldowns, which on farm is not that uh, impactful, but when you're progressing and it's your first time killing a boss, it might actually cause the wipe. Now, as a tank, you should be setting up this uh, feature to track external cooldowns or direct cooldowns from healers such as Cocoon, Sacrifice, things like that. Um, it's really important to be able to call for a specific external or direct cooldown when needed because if you just call for a general one um, for example I need an external a few healers might put a cooldown on you or none of them might put a cooldown on you it, but if you have a list of who's is up who is this active you can call directly for a healer to put an external on you which I think is very useful now how to set this up basically you just go to fast setup click whatever you want to track you see that there's a few different options and then after you decide what you want to track you just click it then go to the appearance, select um, templates, and here you decide what you want it to look like. You see that there's a few different basic ones. If you want to customize it further, uh, you can. There's a lot of different ways to, to customize it, but this is just preset templates that I think work just fine. The next one I will be talking about is the battle rest counter. Now, this basically keeps track of if you have a B-Res available and if you don't, how long until the next one, as well as the charges of battle reses you have available. Because sometimes you don't use one until like the end of the fight, so you might have two available. And if you're a class that doesn't have a battle res, this is the way to track it. So druids, DKs, warlocks obviously can track it on their own. But if you're a raid leader or someone that just wants to track battle reses, this is the way to do it. You just click enable. Uh, drag the icon wherever you want to and then click lock. You can change the scale obviously and the alpha of the icon. Now I don't use this because I'm a death knight as I said. The next one is fight log. This records everything that happens during a fight. It's basically an improved SCADA. If you go to a fight log after you wiped you can see it just like you would on Warcraft logs so you have graphs, you have numbers, you have output, you can check everything. As a healer it's very useful because you can check damage taken and you can um, time your cooldown more efficiently that way. Now if you're a DPS you can see where your DPS drops or where it peaks so you can um, blow cooldowns with that or you can see where you can improve if your DPS drops significantly during the fight. I use this as a Warcraft log before actually uploading logs. This is just improving from pull to pull, seeing what I did right, what I did wrong, where I could improve. Very useful tool. Now the next thing I want to go over here is raid inspect. This is more for raid leaders but also if you're trying to compare yourself to others in your raid you can use this. Here you can keep track of every single player in the raid and you can see their gear, their item level, as well as their artifact power and a few trivial things. Now, the most important thing here is that if someone doesn't have an item socketed or enchanted, then the slot will glow red. Now you can call them out or tell them to go enchanted, or maybe they just forgot. 
um, I think it's very important for mythic rating that everyone is re is prepared. Another thing I like to keep track of is artifact power. Now here I can keep track of every single person in the raid and what artifact power they're at, what knowledge they're at, um, and how they're progressing on their weapon. And if you have a newer person that is only at like a few traits in, you can help them out because you can see exactly what path they took. Now, the most useful and most common feature of Exorcist Raid Tools, the note. Here you can set up any note that you want. We typically set up assignments and healer cooldowns or tank cooldowns and then share them with the raid and that can be pulled up by slash RT note. Here on the side, you can see it. I'm just going to move it here. And this is our scenarios RT note. I have one set up for every single boss and you can just share it with the raid. Now in here you can also add personal notes and icons um, so if you're setting up a personal note something that you just want to remind yourself of during a fight here's where you can do it. Now icons you can add healing cooldowns and there's a bunch of different icons that you can choose as well as markers to make it easier uh, more visual. Raid check. Uh, this is pretty useful what it does it tracks every single buff in the raid when you do a ready check so I have it set so it tracks food buff, flasks, and runes. If someone doesn't have any of those active, it will link it in chat and it will basically let them know that they forgot to use a food buff or their flask is about to run out, things like that. Another useful feature is the potion. So you can do slash RT space potion and see how many people double potted or how many potions they actually used on the last pull. This is super useful because as a raid leader, when I ask people to double pot, I can't be sure that they actually did it. But with this, I can actually check and see exactly who used potions, who used health stones, things like that. Now, invite tools. As a raid leader, find this useful because I have it set up to where I just type in slash RT space inv and everyone that's a raider rank in, in the guild gets an automatic invite. And if they missed out, then they can just whisper me inv or plus or invite, and they will get one. Now, this is set to invite only guild members. That way, random people don't just spam me and get invited to the raid. Uh, another feature of this is that you can auto-change the raid difficulty. So mine, as soon as I start invites, it goes to mythic, and it sets it to guild loot master. Uh, you can set up the keywords up here. Mine is set up to inv plus and invite, as you can see but you can have any word in there um, that you would like. Marks bar. Now this feature is good if you are the person putting down marks during a raid or you, you're in the position where you have to mark things during a fight. It pulls up this bar on the left side that you can see here and these, the top row for me is direct markers so markers I would put above someone's head so if I target myself I can change it here or I can clear it and the bottom row is world markers or flares what's nice about this though is that on the right side you have these two buttons ready and pull so I use these quite a lot it's the same as the blizzard one where you can do a ready check but it's just more accessible I have my blizzard raid leading uh, UI turned off basically and after I do a ready check, it obviously will tell me if everyone has food buff, everyone has potions, everyone has flasks, all that good stuff. And then I can just click pull and it will automatically do a pull timer for me. I don't even have to type anything in. Uh, you can set this up a few different ways. You can see that there's a few options here to reverse order. Or if you don't want direct markers, just world markers, you can set that up. And you can also move it around. Um, and then the basic scale and alpha that, that's on all of them. Now marks. I personally don't use this, but how you can use this is type in people's names here, and as soon as they're in the raid, they just get this marker, as far as I understand. I've never actually tried this out, but if you have two main tanks that are always there, you just type their names in here, and they get those two markers as soon as you invite them to a raid, because we typically tend to mark our tanks. Timers. I haven't used this since uh, Warlords of Draenor, because... Nowadays, every single class has the most pull timer you need, or the longest pull timer you have to do is a seven second for Death Knights. Uh, in World in Draenor, there were like 20 seconds, 23 second pull timers for Affliction Warlocks. 
it's not the case so I don't use this at all. Bonus loot, just a nice little feature, it helps you keep track of what people bonus rolled or on a fight after you've killed a boss you can check here see what people actually got. Raid attendance, super useful. We, keep, we use this to keep track of our raid attendances and see how many people are showing up to fights, how many people are missing raid. Now we actually did a, a clear a few weeks ago, but if you want to keep track of your raid and see who's slacking, who's been there, uh, if your guild rewards perfect attendance or punishes really low attendance, this is a way to keep track of that. Uh, there's a few different ways to set this up. You can save your roster every single time you enter or after your first kill, after your first pull. I personally tend to do it on every boss, every boss kill, because we might swap people in and out. Uh, some people have to leave mid raid, and then I can see that here. Boss mods. Uh, since patch 7.1, this has actually been broken because they took away any radars and things like that which were really useful boss mods in the past in HFC we used this quite a lot there was a boss mod for e almost every single fight but with Legion it's a little bit more broken and they didn't really develop this since there's no point to it statistics it's just basic stats on bosses what was your first kill how many pulls it took how many kills you have uh, things like that just trivial stuff next one is who pulled now this is my favorite if someone ninja pulls I can point them out exactly every single guild has had ninja pulls and you just don't know who did it now with this add-on you actually know who did it <laughs> logs I personally use loggerhead but I've been thinking about switching to exorcist raid tools it's a great tool you can upload your logs to warcraft logs to later then look at if you're interested, I have a tutorial on Warcraft logs. It's kind of long and in-depth. It was one of my first videos. I might do a shorter one, uh, just some basics. But here you just enable logging, and then it tells you where the log is saved, so you can then upload it. Loot to chat. Every single time I open a boss loot table, it will link it to the chat with the item level. This helps so the entire rage can just move on, start clearing trash to the next boss while I'm doing loot and they can just see in the chat what dropped what item level and if they need it. Last one is weak auras check. Now we have a few weak auras that we share with the entire raid to make life easier for ourselves and with this I can keep track of who actually imported the weak aura, who doesn't have it and I can talk to them if they need some help or stuff like that and you can share weak auras directly from here. Now the very last one is profiles, of course, if you set it up on one character, you can just import it on all your other characters so you don't have to go through the whole process again. Alright guys, that was my Exorcist Raid Tools guide, I hope it helped. If it did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more videos. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see a video for a specific add-on, let me know, I'm pretty good with add-ons, I've used quite a few of them. Until next time, have a good one.